You'll be surprised to see how many Buddhists don't accept brain death as the end of their conscious life, as there may be a subtle consciousness living on that is able to feel and suffer, wherefore no organs should be taken. Once again, those adepts mix up the empty, non-substantial features of their person that they somehow secretly just value too much and wish to survive instead of giving up to the universal mind that knows no suffering. One argument given by religious people helps manifesting the real power of Zen ethics. Here I have to add that a lot of prominent masters believed in reincarnation, but they were all linked to institutionalized Buddhism, wearing robes and ranks. It is the conviction that in a limited life without any afterlife, justice, as implied in rebirth according to karma or last judgment, would not be done in chaos and immorality would rule the world. Actually, they project from themselves onto others. The history of our world religions, all equipped with a much similar set of ethical rules, discloses how wrong they are. There is no doubt that artificial commandments have not made mankind any better, on the contrary. To me it seems that they help to disturb people's minds, just look at the hypocritical justifications of violence by rabbis and ulamas nowadays. The people who cannot trust their moral instincts are those you cannot trust. Remember this when you are in doubt next time and see if I'm right. Of course, this is just another rule, so beware of exceptions. It is crucial to understand that justice is not done by nature itself and men have to fight for it. It cannot be delayed. The consolation that people look for in a life after death is the hope of the helpless. The crux of our world, when you ask them, will either not believe in a judgment after life or, being part of institutionalized and classic religion, trust in the forgiveness of a god. So rejecting rebirth, resurrection, etc., does not only root a person in its natural moral abilities. Without any intellectual superstructure, it also requires full responsibility, egg for bringing people to justice, as well as making one's remains available to those in need. No one who believes he has dropped body and mind, a popular saying in the Dogen tradition, and cannot be an organ donator has dropped anything than a clear mind. 